you can use CVMod as a standalone sound source. One of the neat features is that you can modulate one oscillator with the rate and depth of the other. You do that with the four buttons in the lower left, P1, P2, F1, and F2. When P1 is selected, it means that the rate and depth of oscillator 2 is modulating the phase of oscillator 1. Here you can hear the sine wave being phased in and out according to the rate and depth of oscillator 2. F1 is the frequency of oscillator 1, and P2 and F2 are the reverse, so in that case, oscillator 1 would be modulating oscillator 2. The phase modulation is actually a phase distortion, and it gives you kind of this wave folding effect, so when we go to square wave, modulate the phase, we'll get that familiar sound, pulse width modulation. With the random wave shape, phasing gets uh, pretty interesting. If we turn everything on, crank it up, things get nuts. Now here's the XY controller. Interesting thing to note here, if you have an iPhone 8 or newer, anything that's pressure sensitive, you can use the Z-axis and control the depth or the rate of oscillator 1 or oscillator 2 with the pressure of your finger.